archaeology bombshell and how this biblical discovery proves the Bible's Old Testament is right again, it has to do with the uh, time of King Ahab and his wife Jezebel. I mean, she was so wicked, this woman, that uh, a lot of theologians claim that she must have had a demonic spirit, the Jezebel spirit, from what they say. This is a beautiful area of northern Israel. We know that, okay, the ancient Israelites were given, the, tri the tribes of Israel were given their, uh, their inheritance, and they were to plant and uh, to grow crops, and uh, vineyards is also what they planted. The first thing that Noah did when he came out of the ark was he planted a vineyard. And uh, we know that it takes at least three years for the vines to give grapes. Three years at least. And uh, this man of uh, the time of Ahab and Jezebel, now if you look into our reading of the Holy Bible, we've already read I think 83 portions of it, or we've gone through about a third of the Holy Bible already, Old and New Testament that we read. We did read about King Ahab, Ahab and Jezebel, and um, what happened with the, uh, the uh, vineyard of uh, the poor man that they, they had, Ahab had an eye, his eye on the um, vineyard of this poor man, even though you can understand that the king of Israel had thousands and thousands of acres of the best land, thousands and tens of thousands of uh, donkeys and animals and uh, he had everything, but he had his eyes on this poor man's vineyard. And uh, the man did not want to sell it to the king. And so Jezebel saw that Ahab was so distraught by not gaining access to this man's vineyard that she uh, did away with the man and uh, told her husband that the vineyard was his the next morning. That's the story of this. Now, the archaeological discovery linked to the passages of the Old Testament, is another confirmation the Bible's historic track record, the Bible expert reveals. Archaeologists, this is, this is uh, anything basically they're looking for in Israel. They dig and they find so many things. There's excavations going on every single year. You could even volunteer to go to, uh, to help with these excavations if you want to have a nice uh, portion of history under your belt. Archaeologists in Israel may have unearthed the fabled Jezreel, that's Jezreel is the Jezreel Valley in the northern area of Israel. The fabled Jezreel winery of the Old Testament book of Kings, Kingdoms, is called Kingdoms in the Old Testament. Although first discovered in northern Israel in 2013, this winery has seen many archaeological digs since piecing together the clues of its identity. In the book of Kingdoms 1 and 2, the winery near Jezreel was the setting of the story having to do with greed, violence, and sin on the part of Ahab, who was the king of Israel, and his queen Jezebel. It had to do with Naboth, who was the owner of the winery, and he was ex executed, executed on fabricated charges so they'd be acquired by, given by, uh, not given, but taken by uh, her husband, King Ahab. Now, archaeologists from the University of Haifa claim they uh, believe they have uncovered the biblical winery not far from Jezreel, which is a setting that has been inhabited for thousands of years, a beautiful lush valley, as you can see from the picture. The archaeologists have not yet been able to determine when the winery was constructed, but if it was the time of King Ahab, it must have been, what, about... Uh, King David and King Solomon was about 1,000 B.C., so Ahab was about, what, after, the, uh, after that time, about 800, 700, uh, before the, uh, the uh, exile to Babylon. So it must have been about uh, 900, 800 B.C. Now, the archaeologists have not been able to determine when the wine was constructed, but it must have been earlier than that. It must have been around the time of when the tribes were allocated their inheritance uh, because uh, Naboth said that the winery belonged to his father and his great-grandfather, his uh, grandfather before that. So 
I guess it was from the time of the when the inheritances were given. Now, Dr. Norma Franklin of the Zinman Institute of Archaeology told the Jerusalem Post, with these kinds of structures, we can assess when was the last time that they were used, in this case, quite late, around the first century AD, but not when they were built. So they don't know when uh, it was used, but obviously uh, up to 100 AD, it was still being used, first century AD. She said the events that are described in the Bible are usually considered to take place around the 9th century BC. So here, 900 BC. She says it's possible that the winery already existed back then, but it's hard to say. Well, I would say, obviously, since Naboth said it was, he didn't want to sell it because it was an inheritance from his father and his grandfather before that. So it, he didn't want to sell it. He didn't have to sell it. He wanted to keep his inheritance. And uh, that's why they, uh, because he, he was adamant about it, that's why they did, they did away with it. That was, of course, a big sin. Um, now, so, obviously about 1,000, you know, about two generations at least before that. Now, some scholars believe that the story was actually written down later, around the 6th century BC, but we can state for certain that the winery was already operating. There is, she says, no way to know whether what is narrated in the Bible happened exactly as related, but the narrative must have existed. Now, Professor Tom Meyer, expert in Bible studies and Middle Eastern languages from Shasta Bible College and Graduate School, believes the winery could be the real deal. He says, um, Jezreel is a city which gave the valley of Jezreel its name in the Israelite period and lies at its eastern entrance exit. The site was chosen as the winter capital of King Ahab for a multitude of reasons. One reason for this was to enable him to militarily secure his textile interests on the caravan route from Meshach, king of Moab, as uh, written in 2 Kings chapter 3, 4, and through the Jordan Rift Valley, the Valley of Jezreel, to the Phoenician port cities of his wife Jezebel's family on the coast. Another reason was because the fertile soil in and around Jezreel was prime for farming and husbandry, as we can see, it's a beautiful, lush valley. And according to Professor Mayer, the Valley of Jezreel remains, uh, means uh, Yahweh sows. He said, the ancient city of Jezreel sinks off at once into the great fertile valley running along the mountains of Gilboa. In the valley directly underneath the site is a considerable natural fountain, and further east, the spring of Harid rises. The water sources of Jezreel have always attracted settlement. For many generations, the site was a flourishing agricultural settlement, hence Ahab and Jezreel's, uh, Jezebel's desire to enlarge their palace and steal the vineyard of Naboth. The discovery of the vineyard is another example of archaeological, archaeological discovery, biblical archaeology, which confirms a historical statement made in the Bible. But whether or not the Bible's account of Naboth and Queen Jezebel was a historical event, Dr. Franklin said the discovery shows the author's awareness of a winery in the region, and according to the expert winemaking techniques used in Jezreel, would have been very primitive. The process would have involved people crushing grapes with their feet. Well, yeah, that's the way they did it up to about, what, 200 years ago, 100 years ago. Later, wineries would have also been constructed directly in the village and not outside of it, as is the case with the Jezreel winery. She said another element was very exciting for us that several years ago, a nearby kibbutz sampled the soil in the area to find out if there were it would be possible for them to start growing grapes, and the results showed that in the whole area there was only a small zone that would be good for vineyards, exactly where the ancient winery stood of Naboth. There are no present excavations at the site. As Dr. Franklin said, the researchers are focused on publishing their findings based on years of research. So exciting. That's another new biblical archaeology finding having to do with Ahab and Jezebel. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my 
Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.